Hey, this is John. We're at Watchtower Guitars, and we're going to shoot out two amplifiers, a Joe Bonamassa 59 high-powered twin, which is amazing, and we're shooting it out against the Germino high-powered twin, which is also amazing. And uh, we're going to use uh, a bunch of vintage guitars, and uh, I'll go through them real quick. So, well, this one's not vintage. <laughs> Uh, this one is a, uh, a Murphy Lab from 2020, a heavily aged R9, and uh, it's it's one of my favorites. Pretty amazing, actually. All these guitars are my favorites. The next up is a 1961 335, or if you're in England, uh, ES335. Uh, this one's a dot neck, original PAFs. Uh, just a beautiful guitar. Um, this next one is a 1969, I guess, uh, Black Beauty. Um, I, maybe this started as a fretless wonder, but it has been refretted um, with some sizable frets, but it sounds amazing. Um, here is a 1957 Junior, which is, uh, other than this, is pretty clean, but um, what an amazing guitar. Um, here is an all-original 1963 um, SG Special. I guess, did they call it Les Paul at this time? No, SG Special, I think. Uh, two original P90s um, in the Polaris white. I mean, look how clean this thing is. Um, here is a 1961 Fender Strat that has had some, uh, seen some better days, I think, I think this one was uh, leaned up against a radiator. <laughs> um, and here's a 1966 uh, Fender Telecaster. Um, a great sounding one. And one of my favorite guitars, actually my favorite guitar in the shop, is a 1957 Chet Atkins in a sunburst finish, which is uh, pretty rare um, nickel hardware. Well, actually, it's yeah, it's nickel, and it's just ah, oh, it just looks so amazing. It's so cool. Original D Armands, Dynasonics, and last but definitely not least, we have here a uh, a 1958 Les Paul Standard. Um, this one we think started its life as a gold top, so we think this was a gold top. Well, of course, uh, it's a conversion, so they didn't really do a three piece sunburst top. So, and um, I'm a little curious about the dot on the eye, it looks a little bit. Oh, check out this dot here in the comments. If you know what that's all about, let us know. Um, it's a little bit high, but. It's a great guitar with the original PAFs as well, 50s PAFs. And that's it, so enjoy the video. I'm gonna be playing a bunch of uh, songs in E. <laughs> All right, thanks.